It's time for another 40 days journey with God of all possibilities. Mega testimonies of blessings, restoration, healing, and greater grace awaits us through intensive study of God's Word as the year 2023 Lenten season begins. Theme, Mega Miracles, Matthew 19:26. Accept this special invitation from our supervising bishop, his lordship, the right reverend Dr. James Ulushola Odedeji, as you join God's people in the nearest parish of Anglican Diocese of Lagos from Ash Wednesday, 22nd of February 2023 to Saturday, 8th of April 2023. Physical meetings hold between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. daily at any parish nearest to you or online via Facebook at Diocese of Lagos, YouTube at Lagoon TV, or Lagoon Radio. You will surely partake of the mega miracles God has planned for this year in Jesus name don't miss it good evening I welcome you all today the 28th day of February 2023 the day 6 of the Lenten diet on behalf of our supervising bishop, the Right Reverend Dr. Olushola Odedeji, my name is Idowu Fumilola. Let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you for the life that you have given us today. We ask in the name of Jesus that you speak to us as we go into the day six deliberation in this Lenten service. Amen. The theme of our deliberation from the beginning of the year is my year of mega miracles my year of mega miracles and the topic we are talking about today is example of mega miracles which is the destruction of jericho and our text is taken from the book of joshua chapter 6 from verses 1 to 21. from the text we saw that jericho was shut up because of the children of israel Probably the people of Jericho too were probably strategizing from within. Meanwhile, victory was given to the Israelites from the beginning by God. Instruction to go round for six days was given to Joshua and the main conquest was on the seventh day. Now, figure seven means completion. That, in that same vein, seven priests were to bear the ark, seven trumpets of ram, horns, and on the seventh day, they will be marching around the city for seven times. They will march around the city, and the priests shall blow the trumpets. When the trumpet is blown, the people shall hear the sound, and the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of Jericho shall fall down flat. The wall of Jericho shall fall down flat. The people shall then ascend into the city. That means that the city is taken over. So the carrying out of instruction from God, that is the marching around the city for seven days, is in this order. One, the armed men were in the front, the seven priests blowing the trumpets, the ark of covenant, then the other people. They took they are rest on each of the six days. And on the seventh day, the wall of Jericho fell down flat. It was only Rahab and her family that were spared. This is how Jericho's wall fell down flat and the city was taken over in victory by the Israelites. Now let's just look at the introduction. Miracles can be instant or through a process, whichever way. God's instruction must be carefully followed to have the expected victory. As a songwriter wrote, God moves in a mysterious way. His wonders to perform. He plants his footsteps in the sea and rides upon the storm. Every wall of Jericho in our lives will fall and give way to our victory. In the name of Jesus. I pray again for us that the wall of Jericho in our lives, whatsoever it is, will fall and we will have a victory in the name of Jesus. There are some questions that we need to consider. Now, one of the questions is, does God perform miracles only in one way? In Joshua chapter 6 and from verse 1 to 5, we can see that to be forewarned is to be forearmed. 
So follow God's instruction. Follow his divine instruction so that you can get your miracles. There is nothing you cannot do. It's time for another 40 days journey with God of all possibilities. Mega testimonies of blessings, restoration, healing, and greater grace awaits us through intensive study of God's word as the year 2023 Lenten season begins. Theme, Mega Miracles, Matthew 19, 26. Accept this special invitation from our supervising bishop, His Lordship, the Right Reverend Dr. James Lushola Odedeji, as you join God's people in the nearest parish of Anglican Diocese of Lagos from Ash Wednesday, 22nd of February 2023 to Saturday, 8th of April 2023. Physical meetings hold between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. daily at any parish nearest to you or online via Facebook at Diocese of Lagos, YouTube at Lagoon TV, or Lagoon Radio. We will surely partake of the mega miracles God has planned for this year in Jesus' name. Don't miss it. Likewise, in John chapter 4, verse 4 to 9, we can see there that peculiar cases require peculiar treatment. But when the master of the universe steps into your case, victory is assured. This is what happened to the man with 38 years of infirmity. He was there waiting for the water to be troubled. But when Jesus appeared and gave instruction, he became healed instantly. Instantly, he became healed. So another question comes to mind. How significant is obedience in receiving our miracles? It is very, very significant. In Joshua chapter 6, verse 20 to 21, you can see that obedience was what led to their victory. Carry, out, carry it out this way, and they did, and they had their victory. Now, what are the obstacles that Christians face on their way to obtain mega miracles? Number one, unbelief. Mark chapter 9, verse 23 and verse 29. Jesus said, If thou can believe, all things are possible. If thou can believe, all things are possible. So we need to believe. Number two is prayerlessness. When we don't pray, Acts 16, 25, 26, even in prison, Paul and Silas who prayed and sang God their miracles. Whatever situation you find yourself, Always pray, praise, and your miracles will come. Lastly, how can leadership and citizenship team spirit affect a nation's victory? The answer is simple. It is that the leaders and the citizens, they must be godly. They must be ready to cooperate with God and carry out God's instructions to lead the country aright. In this way, their victory will be assured. In conclusion, our sovereign Lord is still in the business of performing miracles. As is to diligently obey his instructions. Believe and have confidence in him. Learn to pray and praise regardless of the hindrances on our way. There is no battle that is too strong for our God to conquer. Because by faith, the wall of Jericho, which stood as an obstacle to the Israelites, fell down flat after seven days. Remember, they followed the instruction that God gave to Joshua. For, so for you to have mega miracles, you must be born again. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door of you and knock. If any man hears my voice and opens, I will come in to him and eat with him and he with me. This is an open invitation by God to you, my brother and my sister, so you can have your own miracle. So accept Jesus today. If you have not accepted him, accept him today. Believe that he is God, he is the Lord, and confess your sins and you will be saved. This is how you can be part of what God is doing in this dispensation. Let us pray. Our Lord, we thank you because you are the master of the universe. You are the God of miracles. And even in this year of our mega miracles, every wall of Jericho standing before us, and our destiny must fall in the name of Jesus. And we will emerge victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining me on this day 6 of Lenten Diet broadcast of the Diocese of Lagos Anglican Communion. Join us tomorrow, same time, same station at 5 p.m. On behalf of the supervising bishop, the Right Reverend Dr. James Olushola Odedeji, I am Mrs. Idowu Fumilola. There is no
nothing you cannot do. It's time for another 40 days journey with God of all possibilities. Mega testimonies of blessings, restoration, healing, and greater grace awaits us through intensive study of God's Word as the year 2023 Lenten season begins. Theme, Mega Miracles, Matthew 19, 26. Accept this special invitation from our supervising bishop, his lordship, the right reverend Dr. James Ulushola Odedeji, as you join God's people in the nearest parish of Anglican Diocese of Lagos from Ash Wednesday, 22nd of February 2023 to Saturday, 8th of April 2023. Physical meetings hold between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. daily at any parish nearest to you or online via Facebook at Diocese of Lagos, YouTube at Lagoon TV, or Lagoon Radio. We will surely partake of the mega miracles God has planned for this year in Jesus name don't miss it